I mean, obviously, every single game you know, that we've been down this year, there's always someone at halftime, someone during a, a tough time during the game that we're getting on each other because, I mean, obviously, we still want to be demanding. We don't want to stay optimistic and live in a positive world the entire entire game because we know there's going to be adversity that hits us. But um, at the end of the day, we, need to be, we, we can be more demanding of each other and hold, our, hold, our, hold ourselves more accountable, um, whether that's getting more stops in defense men or whatnot. With that in mind, does this team miss Pete more for those 18 points per game or what he was in this locker room? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I miss Pete personally because he, I worked, obviously, I played really well with him and um, he was one of my favorite guys I ever played with um, just because how he led the team and I was able to move without the ball and he got a lot of guys open. And, um, that's something I've been contacting, t contacting him daily about um, how, how can I help, my, help others uh, with how they're guarding me this year. Um, and obviously, he was one of the best screeners on the team last year, and that's something I should do a better job of is getting others open because um, they're going to they're gonna be sending double teams on me. They're going to be hugging, hugging me, um, whatever chance they have. So if I'm able to free someone up. Um, but that's, that's something that we've been utilizing these past couple of games is I've been contacting Pete and stuff like that.